Options Trading by Mark Morgan. Now, before I get into this particular book, just want to preface a couple of things. One, he does give a ton of strategies for you to use when trading options. However, for the sake of the time length of this video, I'll be going over what those strategies are, but not doing a deep dive into them. Just because if I do, this would end up being like a two hour video. There's that many strategies that he goes over. Secondly, there's a lot of concepts that he also mentions throughout the book that again, I won't be able to do a super deep dive into, but I can tell you what they are. And if you want, you can go watch other YouTube videos, but I'll be making videos in the future explaining these concepts as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the book. Summary. One of the first things he talks about is risk management and explains that you should risk no more than 5% of your trading account, which is this is pretty standard in a lot of books. He then talks about how people tend to favor call options and put options actually weren't allowed for another four years after the call option was first invented, just explaining how optimistic people are. He then goes on to tell you that time is always working against you. He says, decide how long you will think it will take for a stock to move to a desired price and then double that amount of time and that the most common types of options are calls and puts. He then goes over what the strike price is and the expiration date is. And the strike price is basically what you pay per 100 shares in a contract for an option and the expiration date is when this contract goes down to zero being invalid. Then explain what in the money contracts are, at the money contracts are, and out of the money contract. He then explains what cover calls and naked calls are, what a bear call spread is, and how long puts and bear puts spreads and naked puts put options to protect your stock holdings. And how a bear put spread fixes maximum loss and possible profit buying a put option and selling a put option out of the money. And how beginning investors prefer to go about this way. And that if you do naked puts, that this strategy is going to require your account to be on margin and is called a cash secure put, making this a bullish position. And more people tend to make money selling puts because of time decay. And whenever you sell a put, you just you actually receive a premium to your account. And that the bull put spread, credit spread created by selling a put and a buying a put with the same expiration date at a lower strike price farther out of the money on the same stock. With this comes limited profit potential and limited risk at the same time. Basically you sell a higher strike put and buy a lower strike put. And the way you would like to hedge your account with this is buying a long term put. And that basically a call is when you're feeling optimistic and that the stock will rise and a put is when you're feeling a little pessimistic and a stock will go down. And that a way you can tell if you're getting a fair price for your stock is by using the black skulls formula. And some key information that you're gonna need to see about your stock is look at the volatility view historical history and the implied volatility. In other words, how volatile the stock has been in the past and how volatile it should be going to, into the future. And that you need to always be aware of current news in your stocks and that typically unusual events are bad for traders. He then goes over the Greeks, is what you'll usually see when you're looking at the specs of your stock. Delta, which measures the sensitivity of the stock. Gamma, which measures rate and change of delta. Vega, which measures implied volatility. And Theta, which measures time decay. He then goes over the cover combo strat and the collar trade strat, and how index options are slightly more challenging, and he goes over the three main indexes, so like the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ. And with this in mind, he goes over that indexes are a lot less volatile and could be a different suitable option to trade options on. Next, he goes over some vocabulary that you're going to need to know when trading options. He goes over the strike price, where the owner has rights and the seller has obligations. The premium, which is the total cost of the options based on the current market price and the option multiplier. The multiplier, which is the number used to determine the total option value premium and exercise value. The exercise slash assignment value, which is the amount credited to the option owner and debited to the option owner seller. It is determined by multiplying the strike price by the option multiplier. Settlement value, index closing values used to determine intrinsic value. He then goes over that options have style, the way the contract is exercised and knowing when to sell, before they take a drop and how there's an Amer American style option and European style option. For the sake of time in this video, I'm not gonna go over into the multitude 
of details and differences between the two. I'll do that in another video, but just know there are two different types of styles for options. He then explains that you can use options to protect your current stocks and how they're actually kind of like insurance for them. But just like insurance, you may not always need it and it may feel like a waste of money, but when you do need it, it'll be great to have. And how not all stocks will allow you to purchase options on them. Towards the end of the book, he goes over certain situations when options get adjusted and why they might get adjusted, which will include like stock splits, large cash dividend distribution, mergers and acquisitions, spin-offs, and so on and so forth, and explaining how when these things occur, how they actually adjust it to your account in a fair value way. I do suggest that even after this book summary that you pick up the book and read it yourself, just because even after reading this book a couple of times, it can be very, very confusing. And it's one of those books that when you read it, you realize how much you don't know and how many more books you'll have to read when talking about options. Options can be very complicated, but can be very helpful to your portfolio. And again, in future videos, I'll go into a lot greater detail of the strategies that he gives you in this book. And I'll also go over the American and European styles. So be able to look out for those videos for when they come out. But as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future content.